Here are the reasons why I am bullish on Gala Games. Reason number one, Gala Games has a diversified gaming portfolio. Gala Games, they are not just focused on a certain category of games. They're not just focused on a certain niche of games. They're not like that whatsoever. For example, if we take a look at the genre of games that are available on the Gala Games platform, we will see that Gala Games has to offer third-person shooters, strategy games, turn-based RPG games, and much more. Gala Games is well diversified. They are catering to many different game categories and niches. And I think as a result, Gala Games is able to reach a much larger game audience. You know, other crypto gaming projects out there, they are mostly focused around a certain category and niche of games. They're not very diversified, unlike Gala Games. For example, we take a look at Sky Mavis, the developers behind Axie Infinity. Yes, Sky Mavis is planning to release more games in the future other than just Axie Infinity. But if we take a look at what they have planned for the future, it's mostly focused around that Axie Infinity style of games. And now, while I do think Axie Infinity is a fun game. I think the audience for Axie Infinity and games revolving around that type of style, it's very limited. If Sky Mavis instead, the developers behind Axie, started to release third-person shooters, they released simulation games, sports games maybe, for example, they are able, as a result because of that, able to just reach a much larger game audience as opposed to just focusing on games that are revolving around Axie Infinity. And that is what I find special about Gala Games because as we see most other crypto gaming projects out there just focus around a certain category and niche, Gala Games, they're not like that. They understand that in order to be able to reach a lot more gamers, they have to be able to diversify and that's exactly what they are doing. And Gala Games, they have a lot of options. Let's say their PvP brawler games don't do that well. Okay, then maybe their strategy games can carry them. Maybe their third person shooter games can carry them. They aren't just tied to one single option. And I think as a result, they have a lot of pathways to success because let's say a certain game category doesn't do well, they still have many other game categories out there to carry them, essentially speaking. And that is why I believe that Gala Games will survive in the long term, while many other crypto gaming projects out there simply won't. They don't have the options, they don't have the diversity, and they don't have the longevity that Gala Games has. Gala Games has a lot of backup plans, they have a lot of options, and they have a lot of pathways to success. Reason number two, project Jiri, which is Gala's very own blockchain. And the reason why I think Gala having their own blockchain is going to allow them to have success in the long term is simply due to the fact that if they have their own blockchain, they are able to have greater flexibility and control in terms of game development and tokenomics. You know, Gala Games originally ran on the Ethereum blockchain, and they also partnered up with the Polygon network to bridge to the BNB chain using the P network bridge dApp in order to allow for players to send and trade tokens without paying crazy gas fees. And as we all know, right, not too long ago, there was a misconfiguration on the P Network DeFi, which caused a Gala token exploit. And I think that whole situation right there, that whole debacle really proved how the P Network really is not a sustainable and reliable choice for Gala in the long term. And also on top of that, when it comes to Ethereum, Ethereum is not an ideal choice for crypto gaming projects, in my opinion, because first of all, Ethereum, it's not scalable. Yes, it's Ethereum 2.0, it's proof of stake, but it still isn't scalable. And also on top of that, Ethereum doesn't allow for upgradable smart contracts and NFTs. I think Ethereum just overall simply isn't an ideal choice for not only Gala Games, but also for many other crypto gaming projects out there. So long story short, by Gala having their own blockchain, they are able to escape the shortcomings and disadvantages of using Ethereum, and also at the same time, escape the unreliability of the P network. And I think as a result, by having Jiri, they are able to have a lot more long-term success and actually have a blockchain that is purpose-built for the future growth of blockchain gaming and as well as the growth of Gala Games. And Gala just as an ecosystem overall, it's simply the real deal. I mean, they're not just focused on games, they're focused on film, they're focused on music, the metaverse, and as well as now DeFi. This is just so fantastic. I mean, nowhere else do we see a crypto project focus on this many things. It's only just Gala. Gala is simply the best. Reason number three, blockchain gaming has such tremendous potential. A lot of people may think that blockchain gaming is done. They think it's dead. They think that blockchain gaming is going to be down forever. But I'm here to say that blockchain gaming has such a bright future ahead. And the reason why I say that is because blockchain gaming is projected to grow 10 times faster than that of traditional gaming. And this is crazy to even think about, especially when you consider how the traditional gaming market has nearly doubled in size in the past five years alone. Traditional gaming is growing at such a rapid pace. However, blockchain gaming is expected to just grow much bigger than that. In the next three years, PwC predicts that the traditional gaming market will grow by over $60 billion. However, blockchain gaming is expected to 10x that growth. So just imagine how big 
blockchain gaming will be in the very near future. The future of blockchain gaming, it can't be underestimated. And as of right now, there's approximately 3 billion gamers in the world. There's a lot of gamers out there. That's insane to even think about. However, unfortunately, most of these 3 billion gamers, they have no idea what blockchain gaming even is. Most of these 3 billion gamers don't even have a clue about what play to earn games are all about. However, just imagine in the future, as more and more of these 3 billion gamers start moving towards blockchain gaming. Just imagine how big blockchain gaming can be in the future, especially after a lot of these 3 billion gamers start moving towards play to earn games. And I think they will, because if you actually take a look at most of these 3 billion gamers, they're playing games that they can't even earn any money from. You know, most of these people who play games, they're paying $70 to play Call of Duty. They're playing $70 to play Assassin's Creed. But those games can't generate them any sort of income unless they're some sort of streamer. Okay, then maybe, yeah. But if they're not, if they're just a casual gamer, they have no way to actually earn money by playing those games. However, with play to earn games, they are able to actually earn money by playing video games. Just imagine how revolutionary play to earn games are. Because of play to earn games, no longer does someone have to be a professional streamer. They don't have to be some sort of professional gamer. The average gamer can actually earn money by playing video games. And Gala Games is early to the party, so to speak. They are focused on blockchain gaming before giants like EA, before Rockstar, before Activision, before these giants of the gaming industry are actually focused on blockchain gaming. Gala Games is already here. Gala Games is actually already focused on blockchain gaming because they understand the future potential of blockchain gaming. And Gala Games being this early to the scene, so to speak, they will be the ones to actually enjoy a lot of the gains. Because just imagine when blockchain gaming finally does pop off, Gala Games will be one of the few that actually experience that tremendous growth. And the fourth reason why I believe Gala Games will survive in the long term is because their games are actually fun. I mean, as we see other crypto gaming projects out there, release games that are bad, that are tacky, and let's just face it, absolutely suck, Gala Games is not focused on that whatsoever. They are actually focused on making fun and amazing games. For example, we take a look at Grit, we take a look at Mirandas, we take a look at Superior. These are all amazing, fun, and just wonderful games. Yeah, you know, a lot of people, they don't mind playing bad blockchain games as of right now, but I think in the future, that simply won't be acceptable. And as we see people leave the blockchain gaming scene, a lot of people have been saying, oh, a lot of people have left blockchain gaming because of bad tokenomics. They say, oh, because it's a bear market, the price is low. And look, right, that's undeniable. I can't disagree with them when it comes to that. Yes, tokenomics are not perfect. Yes, we are in a bear market. But I don't think that is the reason why a lot of people left blockchain gaming. I think the real reason is because just simply the games, they're not fun. But let's say the game is fun. It doesn't even matter what happens to the tokenomics. It doesn't matter what happens to the prices of cryptos during a bear market. People will still stick around anyways and play the game just simply because it's fun. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of people out there, they are paying $70 to play Batman just simply because it's fun. They don't even care that they can't even earn any income by playing Batman. They don't even mind. They don't even care about that. And and the reason why they don't care is because Batman is fun. It's exciting. It's exhilarating. And again, right, I think for a blockchain game to have any sort of longevity, it has to be fun because if it's fun, no matter what happens to the prices of cryptos, no matter what happens to the tokenomics, long story short, they will still stick around. And that is why Gala Games is releasing games like Spider Tanks, like Mirandas, like Grit, like Superior, games that people will actually want to play and actually have a long-term future. These are all amazing and fun games. Reason number five, amazing leadership. And Gala Games has such a tremendous leader. And you may be wondering, oh, why does having amazing leadership matter? But in my opinion, it matters a lot because the fish rots from the head down. Everything starts from the leader. And when it comes to Gala Games, they have an amazing leader in Eric Schirmeyer, who is the CEO. And Eric Schirmeyer is the co-founder of Zynga, a game development company that created Farmville, a very famous game on Facebook from back in the day that at its prime had over 80 million active users per month. Eric Schirmeyer knows how to make successful games, and he is a seasoned vet when it comes to the gaming industry. Eric also has amazing management experience. He was the former CTO of Intermix Media, and Intermix Media, by the way, was the parent company of MySpace. Crazy to think about how Eric Schirmeyer at one point was involved with MySpace. And you all may think, oh man, wasn't MySpace once partly owned by Justin Timberlake? Yeah, it was. But when Eric Schirmeyer was involved with MySpace, that was long before those Justin Timberlake days. It was long before that JT Justin Timberlake nonsense. MySpace at one point was huge. So Eric being involved at one point with MySpace is a very big deal. Not only does Eric have a lot of experience making games, but he also has tremendous management experience as well. And I think with all that being said, it's fair to assume that Gala Games has the right guy as CEO.
CEO. And I believe that Eric Schermeyer is going to take Gala Games all the way to the top. And that is five reasons why I am bullish on Gala Games. Make sure to subscribe for the latest and greatest Gala Games news and content. It's been Lee the Captain, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.